you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. So today I want a little bit of a different video. I want to go through some new products that are coming out, uh, specifically the five FPV drones and one sort of toy drone that I just wanted to have a quick look at. So the first one we're going to have a look at is the Gepard C Crocodile Baby, and this isn't out yet, I believe. I don't think there's any videos about it currently on YouTube. I haven't seen any anyway. So this is a 4S long range. There's a whole host of these coming up that I'm going to show you now. Freestyle. It's got 20 amp PSCs and it's 1404 27.50 kVs. And it is under 250 with a battery. If you use a Gepard Seed Lithium Ion VT6, which is a 3000 milliamp, your flight time is 28 minutes. Bear in mind they're very expensive battery. You normally probably could be running this on something like a 754S. And as it says here, you've got 242 grams. So if you see the structure of the quad, you can see it's very, very built for lightweight. It's not built for speed, these things. They're not even really built for freestyle. They're built to fly around. All the ones I'm gonna show you have GPS. And the GPS function is more like a panic button, if you like. It will bring it somewhere back home to you. It won't come and land at your feet like a DJI drone, so I don't think it's going to do anything like that. It'll come and circle above you to get you back so you can land it. They don't have all the same functions. So as you can see, uh, twin blade props, they all seem to have twin blades. And the long long antenna out the back all the ones i'm going to show you have the dji either a unit or the dji cadix vista but very interesting looking thing i quite like the look of this one we're going to have a look at the flyweeks blower later which is a big one at the minute 245 pounds on pre-order and that's the bind and fly version if you want to fly it with your dji controller and then you're looking at 260 ish that's not bad if you run it it's only eight quid more for an xm plus so tbs which i'd imagine most people will go for in the long range 264.90 now so again really nice next one we're going to look at is a seven inch long range so another but not super like this one this one isn't that light it's coming in at 628 grams naked no camera on the front no nothing so all these are designed to have a either a naked gopro on or which i'll tell you more about later or a i think they're called a 360 go the little white camera that slots into a slot some of them actually you can buy the mount for them as well as you can see this is a beast really nice seven inch i think it's quite expensive so this one actually has the air unit but it doesn't have the vista and again gps one thing i will say is all these come ready to well bind and fly out of the box if you've got the dji controller you've just got to simply bind it but I will say you need to go into beta flight. You need to understand beta flight because none of these are going to come up with a GPS setup for a return to home because it's going to be too dangerous. It's always turned off. You're going to have to go in and perform. It's quite a minor function, but there's plenty of videos out there. It's all the same on beta flight, don't matter which model you have. And you can then tell how to do it, but it will come out of the box like that. So the seven inch one really appeals to me. The price doesn't, unfortunately, it's 395 pounds, but it's a very nice piece of kit. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the Diatone Roma. So I saw this this week on Andy RC's channel. It's a five inch, uh, non, uh, non lightweight, non long range, just a standard, have fun and fly it five inch. Comes This one comes with the air unit. I believe you can buy this with the Cadix Vista as well. And the version that Andy had had analog. It looked fantastic. So even on analog, the camera looked decent. It looked to fly very, very well. It's not a bad price. £292 for bind and fly of this kind of quality. I don't think it's bad at all. Very nice motors on it. They seem to have really stepped the game up on this one to make a kind of luxury version, if you like. It comes with this white plastic this in is replaceable with black and i believe you get the black in the box the one thing i don't like about this is that this here so that is where your camera uh screws onto and it's a typical gopro mount it's designed if you want to put your age on you can put it straight in there but this is made of hard plastic and i'd be surprised in a crash if that doesn't smash off it comes with that it doesn't come with any gopro 
um, holders or anything like that these are very expensive the ones it's showing you on there next we're going to have a look at the iFlight Chimera or Chimera whatever you can uh, pronounce it same thing 4S freestyle very light bind and fly this one's got the nebula so the nebula is the cheap version of the Vista and uh, the camera is not of the same quality but the main reason I want to show you this one is that is a naked GoPro you can buy these for around six or seven um, dollars on Banggood and places different kinds of shells this one's a TPU but loads of people make different ones and what you do is you strip your GoPro down and you put it inside there you lose the battery and everything because it then powers off the quad itself looks a really difficult job to do Joshua Badwell's done a video stripping I believe it was a six down but there's people out there done eights and all sorts of things to get them light so you can then fly them with this light camera on the front because here is a picture with a GoPro on but I imagine your flight time is going to be very limited with that on the front of there again same type of thing you can run it on that battery I mentioned previously or you can run it on a, a 4S 750 to a thousand i'd say you won't really want to go much heavier than that and you're going to get a good well they're saying get flight times above 15 minutes using a 4s 850 pack and I'd, that sounds a little bit high i'd have thought more like 12 minutes but anyway uh, it's probably lighter because it's got the nebula so you can see it there with the unit on the front And as you can see, it comes ready to go. Once again, it comes with GPS, so you're going to have to, out of the box, set that up. It's not going to come, so it tells you here, actually. GPS rescue is off by default to prevent un unwanted or unexpected drone behavior. Fly away. So that's set from out of the box. You're going to have to set that up. And here's the one that's caused all the fuss. This is why everything seems to be moving this way. This is the Flywoo Explorer. And on this picture, you can see the one that has the Insta360 or whatever it is going in the front of here so you can see this one's got a little bit of a different frame this one is lighter and this one has all the same features that we've been mentioning before this has uh, there's some flights out there where I've seen these get 28 29 minutes so this was made in conjunction with Dave C FPV so Dave C FPV if you've not seen his channel before check it out he does a lot of this long-range stuff and he's got some fantastic footage from one of these and he's made this in conjunction with Flywoo. I'd imagine Flywoo have took his design. Obviously, his license because it has got his name somewhere on it, if I'm not mistaken. So his name is somewhere on the top of the drone, I believe. Yeah, they can see Dave CFPV on the front of it. So there's a big fuss about this at the minute because you could pre-order this on, a, on especially on um, Banggood and Flywood and apparently they can't get hold of Cadix Vistas at the minute so there's a massive backlog mm. uh, I don't know about that <laughs> I think you guys get hold of a Vista easily enough but maybe because they're buying them in massive bulkunos but you can't get hold of them from what I read on the forums if you are buying thinking of buying this I would not buy it off Flywood because the reputation is shot to pieces if you read the forums massive delays taking money off people and not sending the goods for three months if you do want to buy this, I'd wait until it comes into stock somewhere else. Unfortunately, it's Bangor at the minute. And maybe buy it from there. Um, the last thing I wanted to look at is actually a toy GPS drone, which is not something I'm going to do anymore on my channel. And the other reason I'm looking at it, because it caught my eye when I was having a look at stuff that's just coming out. It's your typical 4K camera that probably isn't really. 30 minutes flight time that isn't really. 5G Wi-Fi to give you horrendously bad range and a two-axis gimbal that might or might not work. Now the reason I like the look of this one is made by XK. I've had a few XK products and never had any issues with them. I love the design. It's a very nice looking thing apart from the transmitter which looks really, really cheap. But there is maybe hope that this could be good. I've not seen any reviews on it. I've not seen any video footage on it. I think I've seen some video footage from them themselves which you could take with a pinch of salt of course. But it has got all the features that you'd expect it to have. Uh, it's got air pressure sensors and all the rest of it, GPS, satellite positioning. Um, but you take it or leave it. This is not something I'm recommending to you. It's because it's got a maximum bit rate of 100 megabits per second, which is very high if it has really got that. If it has got that and it's got a 2-axis gimbal and it's capable of 
it's got a decent sensor in there you should imagine the flight footage would look quite good it comes with a case or without a case and it starts at i believe it's 120 125 pound with with it in a box again i'm not recommending this i'm just telling you uh, if you've got any news on this or you've seen any videos let me know in the comments down below so that's it i'm gonna probably do these videos once a month and it's just to show you what i've been looking at and what is coming out new um to keep your eye open for if you're into this type of stuff and that's basically it so thanks ever so much have a fantastic day and don't forget like share and subscribe